Hi everyone, how are you doing? Is alright? So news, I'm sure you all know this already, but news has broke that the talks between Amanda Stavely and Mike Ashley no longer exist. They have broken down. We'll talk about that. Um, why has he done that and so on in just a moment on, on, on our thoughts as well. So we're not going to claim that we're in the know. We're not one of those type of people. We'll give you facts and what we know from the local media, what they've said, the national media and of course Sky as well. Now the statement that the Sky source has claimed, I'm not going to have an opinion on it because I work for the company as a lot years know. So I'm just going to read that out what the source with Sky have. It's only right to let the, let the fans know that there is no deal on the table or even under discussion with Amanda Stavely and PCP. Attempts to reach a deal with Amanda Stavely and PCP have proved exhausting, frustration, frustrating sorry, and a complete waste of time. Now, we know that Mike Ashley um, does have some friends in Sky. That's a fact, I can say that. Now, his so-called sources come out and give that information to Sky. Sky on um, Sky Sports News uh, released that information about 7pm. Um, more on that in a moment. But, you know, just, just taking you back about five six, five, six weeks ago, just before Mike Ashley went on his holiday at Miami. Great holiday, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but, he was seen having a curry with um, Amanda Stavely and a, a couple of business associates, associates as well. And that was outside North London in a curry restaurant. Now, wh- when we all seen this, and I think it was The Sun, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, broke the story about it. Um, and we all thought, right, brilliant, this is great news, it's going to happen, you know, we're getting excited. It'll happen in a matter of weeks, whatever. Um, now, nothing had materialised as well. And come January, you know, what really is alarming is still within the middle of January and Rafa Benitez still doesn't know his budget. So, I mean, it could be a good thing and a bad thing. I'll tell you why in a moment because if the deal is off, the good thing is that Mike Ashley might then say, okay, Rafa Benitez, nothing's happening. This is your budget for the rest of the month. At least he knows or at least we know. Maybe Rafa Benitez already knows and he hasn't been letting on. I think Rafa knows a lot more than what he lets on. Of course he does. But, at least then he knows. I mean, we've seen recently, and again, this is by reports, by local reports, this is, that the club have now put in bids, loan bids for Kennedy and Papi Suaro, Crystal Palace left back. We know that. Okay. So the loan deals are in. So maybe that's a good thing for this window, but in the long term, it could be disastrous for Newcastle. It really, really could. Right. Mike Ashley is believed to have pulled the plug on this. Not Amanda Stavely. More on her in a second again. Now, we know that he's a very hard ball businessman. He, he, when he gets something, he normally gets it. That's a fact. You look at his deals, he always puts like a little bit of 5% in Debenhams, a little bit of percent here, a little bit of percent in the goal and whatever. A goal or game or the, the five-a-side pitch, whatever it's called. We've seen loads of deals the last few months that he's putting in a little bit of money here and there and everywhere. Now, rumours are that, you know, we've seen the rumours, it's, um, 250 million that PCP bid. Mike Ashley wants 300 million. You know, uh, relegation clauses, the HMRC case involving, you know, the tax fraud that the club are allegedly meant to be involved in as well. These are all speculation, okay? We don't know the facts, again. So we can sit here and speculate. Now, reports, again, say that Mike Ashley wants 300 million. Take it or leave it. Now, for me, you might say Mike Ashley's this, Mike Ashley's that. He's playing too hardball. But he set a figure. And what I'm trying to do here, people, is not I'm not backing Rafa. I'm not backing, sorry, Mike Ashley. What I'm trying to now get from you who are watching is see it in the middle. So Mike Ashley says there's 300 million. And I actually think, if this is true, by the way, if there's 300 million, I think, generally speaking, that's a fair price for Newcastle. I don't think it's overpriced. I don't think it's underpriced. Again, this is speculation that I'm talking about. These aren't facts. This is speculation. 300 million up front, take it or leave it. If Amanda Stavely and her group are saying, oh, I want this, oh, I'm only going to bid 250, or oh, maybe I want some reassurances and clauses and clauses. If there's 300 million there, I'm not saying I'm back, I'm back on Mike Ashley, but what I'm trying to point is, if you really want that club, you will go out and get that club, no matter, well, I don't want to say no matter the price, of course the price is a, is a is a is a factor, but for three hundred million, if that is is that if that is the reason, and again, I stress for people who are going to say in the comments box, I am speculating. These aren't facts, but if it is three hundred million and he wants it all in one go, I think that's a fair price, and I'm not sticking up for Ashley. 
just a business sense, I think the club are worth around 300 million. Let me know on that. Moving across, why did the deal collapse then? So what we think, and when I say we, you know the backroom team as well. What we think is the media, we're going to start with the media first of all. The media say that Mike Ashley, and I've already touched upon that, he wasn't happy about the takeover being out in the public because there is a lot of people who know, in particular the press know a lot. Now forget about the forget about the idiots who claim my mate who says this person at the training ground. Nah, that's a load of bollocks. You know, they signed the NDA for a reason. And a lot of firms, whoever were interested. There is talk, there was a second firm recently. I don't think that's me personally. That's that's bullshit. Alright? There's nothing there's nothing there. Interested parties. Mike Ashley well this is according to the Daily Mail. Mike Ashley wants a deposit for whoever's interested to prove that they're genuine. And again, I'm not sticking up for Mike Ashley, so please do not think I'm sticking up for Mike Ashley. I can say that. Why? If you're really genuinely interested, because he wants rid of the club. Remember the club state club statement back in late October or November it was, when they said they'll even accept partial payments. Again, I think that's genuine. I think the club will still accept that. I'm not, again... Please don't think I'm sticking up for Mike Ashley because I want them out of the club as much as the very next fan. But I can see why. That's logic. You know, put in 50 million if you're generally interested. I want a deposit off you and get it back. That's what a deposit is. Now, again, these aren't facts. These are speculation by the Daily Mail. Ashley has a price, you know. That's what I'm trying to say. If you want the club, go and get it. Now, if it is Mike Ashley who's saying who's playing a hardball and... Again, this is by Lee Ryder from the Chronicle. He claims that Amanda Stavely was never told by the club. She found out tonight by, by the local media, national media and on TV. Now that's quite a alarm bell. That's wrong by Newcastle if that is the case. Because you've got to have a re- bit of respect. If you're not going to do a deal, at least tell that person. Again, these are reports. Everything I'm talking about probably doesn't make a lot of sense because we're all everyone's speculating here. And what I'm trying to do is just tell you what I've, what we've picked up. Now, my personal thoughts on this, so just coming away from the thoughts, I'm kind of like, I'm not mad, but because we don't know the facts, how can you be mad at reports? You don't know what to believe. Is there some truth in this? Yeah, I think there's some truth. Hell yeah. Is there some lies in there? Yeah, I think there's some lies amongst all of this that I've just said as well. I know I'm blabbing on and it's quite a long video. But I just want to get you like my thought on this. I want to know what you use you yours is as well. Is the deal off? I don't think it's off. It might be stalled. It might be broken down. But you can always come back. You you know this story could be a fake story. Could be an acceleration story. You know this source that I've been given a sky. It could be. You know. It's interesting. It's frustrating. It's another twist in this takeover. Don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. We don't know what's going on when I look over there. You don't know what's going on. Your mate down the trainer ground doesn't know what's going on. Further developments as this is going to rumble on. Later on, uh, tonight, I'll be live on social media as soon as this video goes out. I'll be going on Instagram. We'll be going on Facebook page as well, live. And we'll also go on my second channel, Newcastle Fans TV spin off. Where I'll be chatting to you live. I'll leave a link on the top of the comments box down there below. See you later. Bye bye.